If you are a lover of movies and series, you must have already watched one of the films in the Back to the Future trilogy. Released in the 1980s, Back to the Future is still shown on television in several countries and on streaming platforms, and for this and other reasons this cinematographic work continues to mark generations. The film is scientific and content with a bit of humor and the beginning of the story shows Marty McFly, a teenager from a small town in California, who is transported to the 1950s when his scientist friend Emmett Brown's experiment with a machine time goes wrong. Traveling through time in a modified car, Marty meets young versions of his parents and must make them fall in love, or else he will cease to exist. The story gets complicated causing other problems in the course of the trilogy. In the first scene we will see takes place when Marty leaves a garage, which belongs to Doc Brown, in a hurry with his skateboard, as he is late for school. The location is next to a Burger King. It was in the parking lot of a mall, which in the film is called Twin Pines Mall, where the first tests with the time machine took place. Parking remains almost unchanged. When Marty travels back in time for the first time, he is transported to Mr. Peabody's farm, but he has to leave as soon as possible because he was mistaken for an invading alien. And this is the exit from the Peabody farm. Present in several parts of Back to the Future, the McFly family's house is real and was not filmed in studios, but in a normal neighborhood in the state of California. When Marty chases after George McFly, his father in 1955, to try to talk to him, Marty catches George climbing a tree to spy on Lorraine through the window. Scene recording locations remain the same as at the time. On this same street are also the homes of George McFly and Biff Turner.
the school where Marty McFly went to in the 80s is the same school his parents went to in the 50s. The school still maintains the same appearance as at the time of the movie. And finally, Emmett Brown's house from 1955, in the scene where Marty goes to seek help from Doc Brown to get the time machine working again so Marty can go back to 1985.